When the game starts, it's always a rush to see who can get to that sniper rifle. Now, what's the fastest way to get it? Well, in my opinion, that would be hopping in a mongoose. Well guys, Legos fan here, and it's time for my next Lego Halo creation video showcase. So before we start out the video, I would just like to say that I take no credit for this design whatsoever. It was commissioned by me to Legoholic, who basically is a great Lego builder. You can uh, ask him a model and he will design it, his own custom design, and uh, he will send it to you at a pretty reasonable price. So I decided to commission him for a Lego Halo Mongoose one day and it came out great. So this is probably the best design I've ever seen and it works really cool. So that's why I had to go through my parts bin and make a second one. <laughs> so one for the red team, one for the blue team. Uh, these mongooses will be at Brick Fair, New Hampshire, 2013, which is actually coming up in less than two weeks. Get excited, guys. All right, so I'm going to go into a few details into the mongoose because, like I said, it is a very well-designed mongoose, and uh, it could be used for Halo Reach or Halo 4 because the mongooses in both games look almost exactly the same. Uh, just not a Halo 3 one because that was a bit of a different design, but here we go. I think the best part of the mongoose that uh, Tyler or Legoholic was able to design was the front, because that's something a lot of Lego makers struggle with, having a good front for the mongoose, and I think that uh, Tyler really captured that well with the uh, handlebars right there. Another thing he did to represent the grating under the mongoose was add some droid arms, which I also thought was pretty cool. Gives it just some nice detail that you don't usually see in a lot of Lego creations. Another thing I liked how he did is use these, like, robot arms right there. You can kind of see it to connect to the handlebars to make it kind of like an arching shape, and I think that looks really good. My one downside, though, is the figure cannot sit in the mongoose. Oh, hang on. The figure cannot sit in the mongoose and hold the handlebar, so that's kind of a downside, but I mean, it still looks good enough. Um, next part for the back here. It's pretty simple, but again, it, it works as a good design, so, you know, there. So, the design, what I really like about it, if you just saw, you can fit a figure on the back of it. So that's really useful for all mocks, stop motion animations especially, and uh, just even if you are younger and you want to play with it a little. So uh, yeah, it looks really cool, and I'll put that Spartan back on. I will be bringing both of these to Brick Fair, kind of like a red versus blue kind of thing, and uh, they'll probably be lined up against each other or something like that, I don't know, but... Uh, one more thing I want to talk about is uh, a lot of Lego Halo models are built to be accurate and not durable because they sacrifice the durability of the model to get into more details, like the Scorpion tank I have. But for this one, I really like it because it's durable and it is a great design. So I'm going to turn into MR Productions 34 for a bit here and uh, show you just how durable it is. Didn't even break. It's perfect. So, if you know, want to do some crazy things for stop motion or whatever. Alright, sorry about that, guys. My camera ran out of memory, but uh, didn't really want to f refilm that because gotten so far into it already. But. I don't know where I left off, but I know I was saying how it was really durable, which is great if you want to do some, like, stop motions or anything like that. The only problem is if you want to, like, recreate it and make a few more of them, they have some rare pieces, which is the motorcycle tire as part of the wheel, which only comes in a few sets, and I didn't really have any extra, so what I did was go down to Walmart and buy a $5 set just to get these two pieces. Just crazy, I know, but I can resell it at a uh, brick fair at the tag sale. So, this is the Lego Halo Mongoose. Again, I take no credit whatsoever. 
Legoholic designed the whole thing. There will be a link to his Flickr page where you can write him an FM on wanting something, whatever you want. He will make it for you if you are willing to pay some money. And uh, I will also have a link to, link to my Flickr so you can check out some of the creations here I don't post on YouTube. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Like the video, comment on the video on what you want to see next, and subscribe if you like the videos. All right. See you guys at Brick Fair.